Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning, it's 10 minutes to 11, and it's the 12th of October. And I've got two parcels over here I want to unbox on camera, and a box full of toy cars I want to show you. So, let's spin the camera around, and get cracking. Oh, creak, creak, creak. So there we go. This box I got from a tabletop sale this morning. Um, I only found out about it because I had to go to the sorting office to pick up the parcels. There's one hiding there and one there. Because they were recorded side for and I missed yesterday's. I was laying in bed and I weren't quite awake. But I weren't quite asleep either. Sort of like in that middle state. If you know what I mean. And I heard something that sounded like a knock. But I wasn't quite awake enough to actually realise it was a knock at the door if that makes sense, so I missed the mailman. But um, yeah, I picked them both up this morning and I saw the signs for the tabletop sale, which was about 100 yards away from the um, Royal Mail sorting office. So I had a little look and picked up a bunch of stuff from there, all die casts. Um, a lot of them boxed and a lot of them corny. But um, I'm going to go through the unboxed ones first, and then we'll unbox what's over there. So, from the tabletop sale, I've got another one of these. I say another because I think I've got about three now <laughs> in this livery, livery, I'm not actually sure, is it livery? I'm never sure how to pronounce that word. In these markings. <laughs> And I've got a bunch in there, other markings as well. I don't know what it is, but with those ambulances, every time I see one, I've got to buy one. It's uh, It's got to be like a, a die-cast collector thing. You always have your favourite castings. Like every time you see it, you've just got to buy it. I've got a pink Cadillac that could do with a bit of restoration work. I'm certain I've got another one. Um, so that one might end up being a custom colour. Well, one of them will. Those are both Matchbox, by the way. Here's an old Corgi BMW. Who is it? BMW 635? 535, rather. I can't see. I need my big looking glass, and I can't remember where it is. <laughs> I've got like three or four magnifying glasses, and they should be up here. But uh, it's like, which drawer is it in? Oh, I can't see it. Is it in the top one? Did I put it in the top one? Oh, no, I just remembered where I put one. It's in this drawer. Got a nice view of my back, haven't you, at the minute? <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, I was right the first time. 635 CSI. Toodle. So we've got that. Um, got a few more in here. Got a little majorette. I think there's meant to be like a machine gun or something on the back there, but that's fallen off. I know back in the 90s, majorette did a load of military themed because I've actually got the ambulance and the police car as well. Which I think I've got two ambulances because one of them's got the. Um, what they call them? Ultrasonic back then, where they had the little red LEDs that flashed and a little siren in it. That still works. I actually took it apart and put some brand new batteries in it. So we've got a Lado. Ledo? I'm not sure how you pronounce their name. I've, I've always pronounced it Lado. Days gone by. Little bus. I've got a friend on Facebook who's into his bus. Actually, I've got two that are into their buses. And I've Pretty much been inspired to add buses to my collection. Buy them too. So, I've got another two loose ones down here. The rest are all boxed. In fact, there's one box there I've not even looked in. So, we've got PG Tips, Volkswagen Van, and I don't know who that's made by. Oh, that's another Days Gone by Ledo. It's the taste. Apparently that's got Samantha on it. Does anyone remember the PG Tips monkeys back in the day? That's probably quite collectible that one. I only paid 50p for it. 
and a little matchbox Volkswagen Beetle super fast so that's an early 70s one I would expect with those wheels very early 70s if I remember hang on no I think this is 1968 yep so I got that completely wrong didn't I 1968 right I haven't got a lot of room on the worktop because I've got that big thing there that I'm still working on so there's or here's another boxed Ledo bus. Ledo, I prefer Ledo, it sounds better to me. Uh, what have we got on that one? Ski Shop in London. I haven't actually looked at the markings on this one. Oh, Kent Reliance Building Society. It's got Chatham written on the front. I'm probably going to open that one up as well later. I've got two of those. Two different sellers. I wasn't going to get this one because all these other buses in the box, including this one, came from one cellar or one stall. And I was going to get that one, but I left it. Then found this one on another debt table for 50p, and then I went back and got that one. So I thought I might as well have two. <laughs> anyway, we have more buses. There's a Corgi. They're all Corgi, actually. So we've got the Corgi Metro bus. There's one version there. probably going to open these and put these boxes somewhere safe. I've got another one, Metro Bus. That's the price I paid for the Metro Buses. Didn't think that was a bad price. The boxes are a bit sun damaged from the look. Yeah, they've been on display in the box, uh, boxes so the sun's damaged them. But yeah, still, for a mint model, that's not a bad price. I didn't think, anyway. Um... These ones, I don't know why, but you want an extra pound for these ones. So these are £7 each. That's a Plaxton coach. Plaxton, don't think they exist anymore. But they used to be a bodybuilder, coach builder. And they built a few fire engines back in the day as well. And there's another one, Plaxton coach. With a different um, company name on it and colours. What is that? Speedlink? Yeah, and that one's SAS. And the last one, I've got a feeling this one, if it's a 176 scale, that would be ideal for my model railway. So we've got the Yorkshire Rider Series Halifax. I haven't actually opened this box, I just picked it up. I can feel something's in it. So let's have a look see. Oh, this one's a limited edition. Only 5,000 was produced, and this is number 3,021. So it's about halfway there. Doesn't actually, um, doesn't give um, the scale though. But there it is. So I've got the same on that side. You yeah, visit our open day on 14th of June. Probably out of date by now. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I just realised it's got a different front to the one in the box. Oh, never mind. Exactly the same thing. I just put a slightly different version. Oh, so you've got a number plate on the back. Look at that detail. It's one thing I did like about Corgi, especially on these larger scale models and these collecting them. They did. Corgi did quite a range. They did like collectible models like this, which were very well detailed, and they did toys, you know, like this. That were obviously cheaper and weren't as well detailed. So, they did quite a range. Now, I think... I think that can go back in here, all nicely wrapped up. the uh, card back in there and put the lid off. Uh, where did I put the box? That's oh, behind you. <laughs> it's behind you. And put these back in here, I think, out of the way. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep these boxes because they are pretty knackered. 
and I don't think these ones actually have as much of a value as the uh, limited edition one in the bottom there. So, and I have a bunch of buses. I'm not sure if it's a good thing that you have friends that influence you or not. I suppose it depends what they're influencing you to do. <laughs> right. Now I think this is a box of bicycle lights. I'm going to keep it that way up because I've got my address on that side. don't mind people knowing the town I live in, but I don't want them knowing my full address. Actually, only a handful of my viewers know of my full address. Yep, this one is my bike lights. It's not bad because I only posted Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, well packed. Jesus. That can go straight in the recycling bin. It's the best thing about doing this in the kitchen. Rubbish can just go straight in the bin. So, the story behind this is these have been on eBay for sale for uh, a good few months. I've been watching them and they're only five pounds and I just thought I'm bored, I've got some spare cash, I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> so I did. Um, I actually got looking at what was in the job lot and I thought oh, there's some interesting looking lights there. And I thought for a fiver, you know, can't really go wrong. Some of them are all in bits. But the, I was looking at the photos, and even though they're in bits, they do look complete, so... Oh, I didn't know that one was in there. It's a dynamo light with a spider's egg on it. And looks like a uh, dormant egg, though. Yes, yeah, so we've got lights with bits falling off and whatnot. I was actually interested in these. The old Energizer cycle lights. That's one of the things I was interested in. Have a look. See if we can actually piece some of these together. It's a bike hut lamp. I do like bike hut lamps, they're pretty good. That's just come apart, that just needs uh, popping back together like that. <laughs> see, that's what I was studying in the photo because there's so many bits you see. Like that one. I've actually got quite a few of these in red. For some reason I've got more of these in red than anything else. I'm not short on bicycle lights. And there was this one that I thought looked interesting. Never seen one like that before. <clears throat> is that rechargeable? I think this is rechargeable. Nope, but it has got Panasonic batteries in it. It's just a case of how do you open it? <laughs> and it just, there is no bracket to release it, it actually bolts to the bike. I prefer lights like that because no bugger can nick them. So that's there, and that says to. Do I Well you know what I'm taking all these <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna take all of these down to mum anyway because that's where I keep all my bike lights so I can play with that later. So yeah that's the other one that interested me. Those were pretty much what interested me the most. What is that? Intercycle, it's a halogen. Ooh, it's actually quite a nice looking headlamp. I might have a bike that I'll put that on actually. One of my little shopper bikes can have that one. Right. Now I'm presuming as this one hasn't got a lens, and that's the only spare lens. I think we've got the mirror missing, but never mind, that goes on there. I've got some that I'm using as spare, or got one that I'm using as spares because all the clip is broken. I think I've got a spare mirror from that one. And I've also got a lens that doesn't want to go on. 
Oh, this is a five LED one. This could actually be a real light. So these lenses could actually be around the wrong way. <laughs> Don't know. We'll find some. I'm going to take some batteries with me and I'll have a play with these. That's if I go to Mum's. Ah. So this one's got a lock thing missing. See? But again, you could just stick a bit of tape around the edge to hold that together. It's not an issue. What's this one? It's a three LED light. Missing the rubber button in the top there to turn it on. It was pretty much a spares repairs lot anyway. We've got two of these. These have got the um, lenses missing. I knew that. There's some random brackets in here as well. This feels like it's got batteries in it. I've just got something at hand I can use just to leave this open. Anything at all. Coins, screwdriver, stick, I don't care. <laughs> I've got Duracell batteries in, but they have not leaked. Are they any good? No. There's <laughs> a short answer to that. Alright, so again, the lens has just fallen off of this. That just clips on like that. And this goes on. Like oh, that, there we go, it's fixed. I've got a bunch of these LEDs, they're already cheapo things, these ones. Ooh. 260 Revolver. I actually quite like the look of that. And what's this one? Oh, I've got some of it. At least one of these at home as well. The bracket for this here. See, we've got brackets for these LEDs. We've actually got three, from the looks of it. One of the energizers has bracket. Got a lot number thing there as well. Go away. We don't need that. It does twat? Not on the right way. It's not that one. screw in the way there. I've got a feeling that bracket goes back on. I've got a feeling that this one. No, I've got totally wrong, is it? No, nope, that's not the one either. Did I... I may even have a bracket for this in my bucket load of brackets back at Mum's. So front one hasn't got a bracket, but that's not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in the, the carrier bag, ready to go to Mum's. If I even decide to go down today, I might not go down with them. quite a large bracket there. One of these is going to go to this. That one works. <laughs> Probably a few of them here that would actually work. Yeah. That one's got the little tab broken off of it, so that ain't much use. One goes on there. That's a bit loose fitting, but it does go on there. I just got. I got some spare LED LEDs and LED boards in there for something. Interesting. 
empty bracket, that one. And it is actually working, but the battery's dead. I'm just seeing, when I press the button, I'm getting a... Oh no. Very dead, but it is working. Just a little bit temperamental. All right, let's put all of these in here then. Make them all dead numbs. Right. It's a dead battery, it might not go in the bin. Here we go. Now this one is toy cars. This one I bought from a guy on Facebook. Not the same guy I got the last lot from, but on the same group. Um, he was just having a clear out of his collection. I don't know if he was clearing everything out. I can't remember. He was having a clear out. And, uh, he'd taken photos because he'd organised everything at like little bundles. and There were 75 pence each car in these bundles, or depending on the size, of the bundle, you know, depending how many were in the bundle, you could buy the whole lot if you wanted. So I actually decided instead of picking through one by one, which I wanted, I'd just buy the bundles that I wanted. Even though a lot of them had cars that I didn't really need <laughs> or want. But, uh, well packed. I've got another box to come from him as well, but they most likely won't be here until um, Tuesday, maybe Monday. It was posted yesterday. So, I've always got a little niggle in the back of my head when I'm buying on these groups. Probably because I see so many posts where people have been um, scammed out of their money, but there's always that little bit in the back of my head, you know, is he actually going to post them or is he going to con me out of money? But uh, here we go. I was right, that was a husky. <laughs> see, I had sort of like a job lot of little things like this, so I just bought them. So there's two little husky dumpers there. And Husky is what Corgi was before it became Corgi. Speaking of, we've got a little Corgi Renault 5 there. I'm not sure if I've got that one until I look at the shelf. Um, and I think I've already got the point as a van, but like I said, these were in a job in little bundles. And I just bought the bundles because there was like one or two in the bundle that I wanted. So, And the bundles were going pretty cheap. Oh, Majorette. Sweet. I don't have that one. The plastic skirt bit on the side there is bulging out a little, almost fell off on that side. But that's nothing a little bit of glue wouldn't fix. Actually, if I glue that back there like that, you wouldn't even notice it snapped. <laughs> Another little husky, little husky um, refuse truck. I used to have things like that. Then about four years ago, four or five years ago, I just felt I was going off collecting toy cars and whatnot, and I actually ended up selling a load. Got a wheel pushed up there, but parcel forth. Corgi van. A cheese wedge matchbox car. <laughs> what is it? A Super GT. Something 21-22. BR21-22. I have no idea what that is. 1985. I think I've got one of those. You actually get to the point where you end up with so many, you forget what you got. I don't have that Sierra though. Oh, it's going to need some, a new chassis on it. Because it's got new bumper. New bumper. So yeah, I need to find another one that's tatty that I can steal the chassis off of. Like one that I've already got. Oh. 
It's not a matchbox, but I'm not sure what it is. It is... Clean the base a bit. It's another Super GT. BR1516. I have no idea if that's actually part of what the model is, but... Yeah, it's another Super GT. I actually like the look of this one better than the other one. Right, is that... Oh! A Hot Wheels damper! That must have been some time ago, this one, because I haven't seen anything from Hot Wheels like that for ages. Has that got a date on it? 1979, according to that. Yeah, it's actually very nice. Quite a heavy little casting as well. We've got another Husky. What's left of a cement truck. And a little matchbox. Again, I can't remember if I've actually got that one or not. Right, next layer. This might go on for a bit. <laughs> We've got a Corgi Metro that I've already got. So this one, as it's rough, will most likely end up being painted in a different colour. Uh, dig deep. A little Corgi cement truck. I've got one in a different colour. I've now got the green and yellow one. That call me Juniors? Yeah. And we've got the chassis and cab of a refuse truck. I've actually got this as a complete truck. But this chassis, it, it's a shame because this is in good condition for the just the chassis and the cab. And it's even got the... Actually, I don't think this pin is... Oh, actually, it might be because it won't pull off. Maybe someone started to restore that and got as far as taking the body off, and that was it. All right. Now that's a husky truck that caught my eye as well because I've not seen this. So yeah, um, camper vandals truck. I can actually see the base on this one. Pending Great Britain. Ford Camper. So it's a Ford truck. Mm -hmm. It's actually nice to have um, some Huskies in my collection. There's a little. Another Corgi Juniors. The basket is cracked on this one. Got a bit missing, but it is complete. Unlike my other one, which isn't complete. <laughs> Another sight hut truck. So I've got two of these now. This is actually in pretty good condition for its age. Oh, got a little bend on the body. But I think that deserves a restoration as well. So we have a Bedford TK Husky skip truck. I know it's a Bedford TK because I looked at the cab. I don't need to look at the chase. Check chase the chassis for that one. Right, what have we got? Corgi Weetabix lorry. I think I might have that one, but it's in worse condition than that. We have a matchbox skip truck in blue. I've got one of these in red and mint with the skip. Because the skip is a loose bit, that's always the part that goes missing. opening hood on this one. Is that a Camaro? It is. A Camaro IROC Z. Ooh. Now the stickers on the wheels are faded but they when they were new they would have sort of shone in rainbow colour like a CD when you turn a CD over and you shine it in the light. Take these out together I think. A couple of Ford Transits from Majorette. That one's got Enterprise BCR on it. And that's got racing service on it with a motorcycle on the top. I think these would have had a little trailer on the back as well. With um, This one would probably have the motorcycle. Yeah, that one's not in bad condition. That one's got something stuck all over it. 
Right. I think there's only one more layer. Yeah, there is. I've got another one of these Skodas. Again, that was just in one of the job lots. But I don't have one with a green base. I've just realised my one's got blue. But then again, has that gone a different colour over time? Got a broken headlight as well. I could do a custom paint job on that one. That one has Hot Wheels. Is it a Shelby Cobra Daytona? Ooh. Right. Want to see two more Huskies? Huskies. I think it's the only two. So I'll get those out. Mac. Unfortunately, I do have another one of these. This one is actually in slightly better condition. Oh, it's got a metal chassis on this as well. And then we've got... Is that a Husky? Oh, it is a Husky. Military vehicle of some description. Not quite sure what it is. Should we have a look? I think that van is a comma, step through or something. Forward control Land Rover. If you look, there's like a little uh, bit of cardboard under there for the suspension. What was this one? Was that a comma van? Yeah, it was right. Comma walk through, not step through. And there is actually a little driver in there. <laughs> Commas were quite popular back in the day. Yeah, definitely going to keep hold of both of those. What else have we got? Oh, another one. Another Ford Camper in yellow. I can hear sirens in the background again. Hello. What's this? Power steam wagon. Hulls Mentholiptus. Something's going down, because that's two police cars I can hear. There's one. And there's two. Right. We've got two more of these Dodgers. I've got one of these. Actually, I think I've already got two of these. That one's got split there. As that one's got the bit missing, I might convert that one to a flatbed version. Which would be easier, it'd be just a case of cutting all of this off, filing it down, Bob's your uncle. And I think this one will end up in my little scrap box, because it's got a wonky cab and it's got a pillar missing. It's fixable, the pillars can be replaced. Some people use um, cotter pins, or split pins, whatever you want to call them to um, use to replace. I suppose you could use a paper clip. But I think they prefer the little split pins because they're more like the shape of a pillar on one of these cars. A very sorry looking um, snow plough here. That was an Aveling Barford dump truck with a very sorry looking snowplow on the front. Hmm. I wonder if I could turn it into something. Because you can't replace this without, you know, changing the whole chassis. But what I could do is just snip that off completely so it's flush with the front of the truck. And there is something in the cab. I'm not sure how the heck something that big got through something so small, but got another one of these. <laughs> got three of these now. One's in actually good condition, but the canopies are missing. I lost the canopy off mine. I had one in great condition with the canopy on it, and I lost it. That really pissed me off. We got another corgi. Superman's Daily Planet. Hoveringham wagon. It's missing the bit on the dumper, but stepdad's actually got two of these that he did up for his model railway. 
Ah, and one in pretty good condition of this as well. Oh, it's a super fast. I'm not sure I got one with the super fast wheels on it. I might have actually, but I think I've got the older one with the older wheels on, with that style of wheels. Right, we're getting there. We've got a peat truck. Could have been a dump truck, could have been a cement mixer, I think. Construction, that might have been the dump truck version actually. See, Matchbox were clever, they'd used the same chassis but changed the body. So they've got the little groove in there for the cement mixer, but it may not have the cement mixing body on it. Okay. One. Rescue. BP Rescue Ford Transit truck. With a hook, although it is damaged. But, I think with a bit of repair work. It could be glued on. Because I actually wanted that hook for another truck. And the last Corgi, which is the shell. Is that a Ford? I think it is a Ford. Oh, no, it's a Majorette, sorry, not a bloody Corgi. Yep, Ford. Ford Cargo, I think that's called. Nice little box there, we'll keep a hold of that one. So, quite a collection. Like I said, I've got another bunch from him because everything that didn't sell that day, he bunched it all together as one job lot and put it back up for £15 posted. So, I thought, why not? So, I've actually really added to my Husky collection. I'm really happy about that. Show about the dumper truck because these wheels are not in bad condition. They're a bit muddy. It's probably what that is in there actually. I don't know if you can see that in the cab. It's probably some mud that's got in there and uh, just hardened up into a lump. Anyway, my battery's flashing so I've ran out the battery now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.